Hey guys, let me hold you out a little bit more. <laughs> yes, I am very much under the weather. It hurts just to open my eyes. I mean, seriously, it hurts just to open my eyes. But it's a beautiful day. It's almost or right at 70 degrees here in North Carolina. I know there's a lot of stuff going on in the world. The coronavirus is is taking over guys it, it's it's spreading like crazy i have pneumonia and i looked up pneumonia pneumonia can kill you too <laughs> but i did get my butt to the doctor and i am on meds however these meds are not really doing a whole lot for me right now but i'm only three days in but he only give me five days of antibiotics but it what is in my yard something's in my yard um really high like high powered antibiotics stronger than a Z pack um, high dosage antibiotics but you only take it once a day so <coughs> just wanted to do a little catch up with you I told you there would be no videos this week but I just wanted to check in with everybody yes I'm still here yes I'm still kicking Today's the first day I've been out. I walked to my mailbox, which is out there. That's the end of one of my road that comes into my house. So just walking out there and back, I was out of breath. And I had Sam out here on the back deck with me today for a little bit, catching some fresh air. And just walking around this deck, I was out of breath with him on his leash. <laughs> So that's what's going on with me. I did get my Ipsy. I did get my Boxy Lux, and I have peeked inside because I wanted to know. I'm gonna try to get that film tomorrow. Yes, I'm gonna sound creepy like I do today, but maybe tomorrow I'll feel a little bit better. Um, the antibiotics will still be kicking in, and I'll feel a little bit better. I'm actually gonna go up here and sit down because uh, I just I need to sit down, children. <laughs> so yeah this is my back porch it's a pretty good size deck this is an older house so uh, lots of things with it you know it's an older house so he's going to be standing at the back door no he's not there's the door to the kitchen but that's what's been going on with me I have been at home since Sunday and Sunday is when it kind of started kicking back in because I had a sinus infection last week. If you guys remember, I had a sinus infection last week. I missed one day of work with it. And I started feeling better. And I was at work. And then Sunday, it's like it just started all over again, but many times worse. And I called my man or I messaged my manager Monday and I was like, I just feel like absolute shit. Excuse my French. <laughs> That's what I said. And she's like, Do you think you're gonna be able to work? And I was like, I don't I don't I honestly don't think I'm gonna be able to work. So Holly filled in for me. Thank you, Miss Holly. Thank you, Miss Ellie. <coughs> and that was Monday. I'm off work Tuesday. I wasn't feeling any better Tuesday. I scheduled to work Wednesday, so I got up and I could hear myself that night. I could hear my lungs <laughs> while I was trying to, while I was breathing, while I was trying to sleep. And I knew, like, I've got to go to the doctor in the morning. So, um, got up about eight o'clock and my hubby just got home from work and I'm like you've got to take me to the doctor today <laughs> this is not getting any better it's getting worse and I got in there and he said your lungs sound terrible I was like I know I can hear them when I'm trying to sleep I can hear them and he's like I'm pretty sure it's pneumonia he's like but I want to get a chest x-ray to be sure now guys I get bronchitis I get bronchitis Every winter, I know what bronchitis is. I know what a sinus infection is. They usually go hand in hand with me. And 
this was not bronchitis. My chest was on fire. I was coughing like I've never coughed before. And it was not getting any better. It was just, there was no relief. I couldn't, I couldn't sit up. I couldn't lay down. The sinus pressure was so bad, especially here. I just felt like being hit with a two by four, just in my head, that was so, the headache was so bad. And my neighbor's cats. So uh, chest x-ray come back. Yes, it was pneumonia. Yes, it's a sinus infection. So that's where I'm at. Um, I've been quarantined in my house, <laughs> you could say, um, because right now we have 15 confirmed cases of coronavirus in North Carolina, 12 cases in South Carolina. I don't know about Tennessee and Virginia, the surrounding areas, but it's going to get worse, guys. It's going to get worse. Now, here's my thing. I work retail. We have people constantly coming in, coming out children coming in coming out with their parents and here's where i want to go into a rant teach your children to cover their coughs to cover their noses carry kleenex with you carry handy wipes hand sanitizer i don't care i see so many children every day coughing on everything sneezing in their hands touching everything after they've sneezed licking on the counters I mean, seriously, licking on the counter, ugh, licking on the counters, you know, throwing, eating, eating with their hands, throwing the food down on the floor. We have to pick it up. Teach your children how to behave and be sanitary, I guess is the best way to do it, to protect themselves and to protect the people around them. Um, we have adults that come in and do it too, people. I'm, I mean, it's not just children, but children do it without thinking about it. You know, they just do. So they need to be reminded. Cover that cough. You know, here's a handkerchief if, you know, sneezing a handkerchief. Here's some hand sanitizer. Wash your hands. Adults should know freaking better. We had a lady come in, and I'm just saying, you know, coughed right on a debit card. On their debit card and hand it to an employee I mean it's like if you got a cough turn your head I try to cough toward the floor or cough in my sleeve um, if I sneeze again I try to sneeze down toward the floor if I can't catch it I mean you know I turn my head to the floor guys this stuff is not going to get any better and if we're already sick if we already have something compromising our immune system, we're, you know, we're in a bad situation. If we're not already healthy, we're in a bad situation with this mess going around. I have an autoimmune deficiency. I catch stuff very easily. Even though I'm constantly washing my hands at work, I'm constantly using hand sanitizer. I'm constantly wiping everything down at the counters with hand sanitizer and disinfectant wipes. This is the fourth, no, third sinus infection I've had. And I think the second bout, I've had two bouts of bronchitis. This will make the third time pneumonia. So just be aware when you're out in public or anywhere that there's other people, be aware of what you're doing. Have you some Kleenex? Have you some hand sanitizer? Have it ready for your children if need be. I mean, this it's not going to get better, guys. It's going to get worse until they get a hold of, of something that will combat it, the coronavirus. And if you're already sick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, just, just put it out there. Just putting it out there, you know? Because I see it every day. People that don't care where they're coughing, where they're sneezing, where they're leaving, you know, their piece of candy that they spit out on the floor or whatever. Just be aware. You know, soap and water works miracles, you know, and I make soap, so I'm like, I got a stockpile of soap at my house, so I'm good with the soap. But soap and water works miracles. 
and, and it's not just for hands it's for all over your body people just wash be sanitary <laughs> <coughs> but yeah that's where I'm at that's my thought process for right now because I'm gonna have to go back to work and I'm not gonna be a hundred percent when I go back to work and even though I'm still following you know the thought process of wash your hands wash your hands wash your hands use hand sanitizer I'm still getting sick so you know it, it only goes so far if everybody around you is not using the same thought processes of I need to be more aware of where I'm coughing where I'm sneezing where I'm leaving you know my dirty hands or my children's dirty hands just beware <laughs> so that's just my little update my hands is getting in the camera um still no sam i was gonna show you sam if he was in the floor but he's not so uh everybody just stay safe if you don't have to go anywhere don't freaking go anywhere i mean if if it's if it's not bothering you to go then go but if i have the choice of stay home or travel right now i'm staying home <coughs> so um yeah just stay safe practice your cleanliness and um if you do start to feel any kind of get you know sick see your doctor i mean seriously see your doctor I never ran a fever. I was constantly taking my temperature. I never ran a fever. So that's why I wasn't really getting worried until my lungs were sounding like a creaky door. And I guess that was when, you know, why I was like, well, I need to go on to the doctor. Which my husband had already told me, you need to go on to the doctor. And I'm like, no, I'll feel better tomorrow. Um... And I never felt better tomorrow. So that's kind of got me to the point of where I was to pneumonia. Um, but yeah, I never ran a fever. So, you know, that red flag didn't go up. But if you're having all this other shite with it, then yes, get your ass to the doctor. <laughs> um, and, and practice all those sanitary conditions and, and little things and just take care of yourself. Alright guys, hopefully I will feel like getting a video up tomorrow, which I've chit-chatted with you for 12 minutes. But I am running out of breath. <sighs> but, um, because I really want to get my Ipsy and my Boxy Charm up for you guys. Because they, the Boxy Charm looks really good, or Boxy Lux looks really good. The, the Ipsy I'm not too thrilled with. And I did cancel my Ipsy. Um, there's just other things I could be spending my money on that I would enjoy more. So, those videos are coming. They'll probably be this weekend. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your family. Be safe. Do all the things you got to do to be safe. Don't be out buying all the toilet paper and hand sanitizer. Buy you, just buy you some soap and a little bit of hand sanitizer and enough toilet paper to get you through. Because I need toilet paper too, guys. I've been blowing my nose like crazy for a week, two weeks. I need toilet paper too. We actually need to go buy some. So, I hope there's some there. As always, thanks for watching. And hopefully, I will see you guys in a couple days.